Hey guys, it's Monday in my stream today. I worked on button stuff just because I feel like I need to do more con prep. It's been forever since I actually streamed games on my Twitch channel, so I'm like, okay, tomorrow I'm gonna stream games. Today's buttons, tomorrow's games, and then Wednesday is always a creative stream, so that'll be buttons again, but I'll show you what I did. I made all these evolutions. And I made some Art of Bailey J sets. I don't want too many of these. I might just make a few more and then that's probably as much as I'll do because these ones are the least popular because it's not fan art. So yeah, there's those. I printed off the tops, made the buttons, and assembled the packages. So here's what I have for sets so far. Uh, I really want to do an Animal Crossing set, but I don't think I'll have time to do that in time for Anime North. It might have to be for a future convention and then of course they'd also be available individually these ones i don't know if they're going to be available individually i feel like i just want them to be in the sets but we'll see <laughs> if i feel like i want to fill up space in my cases then i'll have them individually also i switched out one of the buttons in this previously it was the artwork that's just called pink i think i made it for national pink day it was like the girl with sunglasses I removed that one and put the digital Vera instead. It's just so satisfying seeing them in here, although now they're kind of misaligned. And then I was going like this at the end of the stream showing these off and it got me thinking. Well, before I was thinking of doing a video where maybe I show myself assembling things for the convention and that could be a video on my art channel. And I didn't know if that'd just be too boring. But then when I was touching those, I was like, oh my God, what if I did an ASMR button video? Because <laughs> it's been brought up in my live streams and I'm always like, eh. I think it was brought up as an actual video idea. I don't know, but it gets brought up every time I'm making buttons. People are like, ooh, it's ASMR. And so I think it actually would be kind of cool to do an ASMR video of making the buttons. The thing is the little metal pieces can sound a bit grating and when you're actually pressing the button it can be maybe a little too loud. I don't know if that, that part's probably going to be iffy. I'll have to maybe do some tests and see how it sounds. But other parts like cutting the paper and chopping the headers with my guillotine cutter and putting them in the plastic, that can all be really soothing. So. I don't know, might do a little test and see how it sounds. <laughs> I did extend the stream by almost two hours to finish those buttons because I didn't want to leave them all individual. I wanted to pin them, except the evolution ones, which I left in that, that lid over there. But yeah, so it went two hours late and I still want to spend the rest of the day working on my next art video. I at least want to get some planning for it because it's going to be slightly more tutorial style. And so I want to do some research and take notes and all that stuff. But first I want to run to Canadian Tire and get more of those fishing tackle boxes that I keep my buttons in. And I wanna to go to Michael's to get more foam pieces. I still have quite a few, but I don't want to use the orange ones. These ones are just getting nixed in general. Although they wouldn't be too bad for the cute foods, but I don't wanna make any more of the cute foods ones, so I'm not doing those. <laughs> These ones are for evolutions. These three colors here are for the Sailor Moon buttons and there aren't enough left. And then these ones I was using for Art of Bailey J. I'll need a few more, but other than that, these could just go to one of the other button types. But I'm still gonna be a bit short, so I wanna go get another pack of this foam. And then for those tackle boxes, I have four big ones. Well, I guess there's also that one. <laughs> I wanna get these out of here into a proper case. But then I also have this one, which is smaller than the rest, and the compartments are smaller as well, so I can't fit as many buttons into each slot. So I wanna retire this case and just use big cases. I got one of my big cases at Bass Pro Shops and then I got a set of three from Canadian Tire. So I'm hoping to get another set of three when I'm there because I think I would need two and then maybe start into the third. Maybe not yet. Maybe the third won't even be used until I have more designs available. Me. Oh dear. Oh, baby. <laughs> okay, I made it to Michael's and since PetSmart is right beside it, I grabbed some Mbeba food. They still have lots of canned food, so I just grabbed a bag of the dry kibble. Oh, this is beautiful. Right when you walk in. <laughs> so many Sharpie colors. Mmm, satisfying. Bales are not here to look around, you're here for the foam. Oh no. 
Are they out of the kind I got last time? I think they are. Shoot. I mean, I could get this, I guess. Last time I got this one where it's cut in half down the middle, but it was this color pack. This one's kind of like your basic brights, which I guess is not the worst option in the world, but I wanted this one with like the pastels and stuff. So I might just get this one and then cut the foam to the right size. I actually just thought of something else I want. I want stuff for disc binding because I would love to do that with all my loose paper that I use for sketching on because I have so many loose sheets that are not in a sketchbook and I know you can use clear sleeves and a binder but I'd rather use disc binding to assemble all my sheets. So I'm gonna look for that. I just noticed that when I saw all these planners and things. I remember seeing them here before. This kind of stuff. I don't know if it's sold here. This is an actual planner that just has disc binding but I want the disc supplies. There's a lot of really cute Canada stuff, probably for Canada Day coming up. July 1st. It looks slightly 4th of July-ish with the stars. God. And a moose. Okay, disc binding, disc binding. Where do I go for that? Scrapbooking stuff maybe? So I found some discs. I like these gold ones, but they're a bit small. I might use this size. I feel like that's a good sketchbook thickness. These are nice too, but it's getting to be too much of a big boy, maybe. I think I'll go medium for now. What I need is the hole punch though. I'll look in the hole punch section, maybe it's there. I thought maybe they'd have it next to the disc binding stuff. And I'm also debating whether or not to get one of these covers, but they're so expensive. Oh wait, wait. Oh, this is a big boy. I'm not finding anything on Amazon, at least not the Canadian Amazon, so. <gasps> Oh, I'm torn. I could pay full price for the foam. It's 13 bucks. Ah! Then use the coupon for the cold punch. Or I could come back later, but I want to do a haul video. Okay, this is annoying. Apparently, there are two sizes for the punches. This is the small one, then there's a bigger one with 11 holes. So then as comparing sizes of these, this is the nine hole size, which is a bit too small. And then this is the 11 hole size, which is about the size I would want mine to be because this looks like a standard piece of paper. This might actually be a little big. This might be a nine by 12. So now I'm wondering if this is big enough or if I should get the other color. Then there's a question of, well, if I get the 11 hole punch, this has nine pieces. So maybe I should do this one. And if there are edges hanging out, then who cares? Wait, this one says perfect punch, nine hole. Is this just different box? Looks like it. This one says classic. God. But just think, if these holes on the very ends were missing, there'd really just be that much overhang. It's probably not the worst, because really it's just to store the paper. I'm not gonna sketch in it. I'm just gonna put the pieces of paper in after I've sketched on them, if that makes sense. So maybe they could get away with the nine hole punch. So I got the nine hole punch and the discs and the foam, and now I'm heading to Canadian Tire for those boxes. <laughs> Man, I never get this good of a parking spot here. I'm one spot away from the handicap spot. Yeet! So close. Probably because it's Monday. My boy, he's still here. Oh, hello. And look at this. Ah. Okay. These are the closest to what I'm after, but it's not the multi-pack. They're $13 each. I'm gonna go to a different Canadian Tire. This one has a very small fishing section. The other location might not have what I want either, but I'm just feeling adventurous. I just wanna drive around. Might as well check. Do -do -do -do. We going upstairs. <laughs> okay. Come on. Mm. Ooh, these ones are a three set. $34.99 though, it's not saving me that much. I just realized that these are actually thinner than what I usually get, so this is not what I want. Good thing I didn't grab them at the other place. These ones are real deep. That would actually be amazing because I could have so many in there, but as stock dwindles, it'd be kind of hard to see. Like when it gets too deep, it's kind of not ideal. Are these thicker? Because there's also this one, right? It's three pack. Oh, and it's cheaper, 25. Yeah, definitely deeper than the yellow ones. 
did they have this at the other store? I don't think so. I remember seeing a three pack, but it was a small one. Like, I don't even know if it's here. I just feel stupid if I'm looking at the footage and I'm like, girl, it was there the whole time. Either way, I think this is what I want. You also have to check to make sure the hinge is removable. This one is. Actually looks easier to snap on and off than the ones I already have. <laughs> well, the one from Bass Pro Shops unsnaps easily. The other three, not so much. <laughs> Whoa, think of all the jellyfish you could catch in that thing. Okay, let's get out of here. I am back home. It's time to make some supper. Just opened up this stir fry pack that I got a while ago at Costco and haven't used yet. Oh baby. I'm gonna use that and some chicken breast and this cream of chicken soup I got. I thought it would have little chunks in it because it looks like that <laughs> in the picture, but it's actually just pure cream. It's okay as a soup, but I thought it would be even better if I cooked with it. Okay, it is now the next day, and it's actually quite late. It's 7.48. <laughs> I had my stream earlier today, and then I went and met up with some friends. I don't see these friends all that often, but we like to get together every once in a while. We'll meet at Starbucks and just chill there for a few hours and chat about conventions, YouTube, Twitch, video games. We have a lot of common interests, <laughs> and uh, I also see them at conventions because they table there at the Artist Alley, so yeah. Talked to lots of artist alley stuffs. <laughs> and I just got home. We met up at like quarter after three. <laughs> so I've been gone a long time. Time just flies so much. Like we're always there for like four hours at least. And <laughs> it does not feel like it's been that long. We're like, okay, we've been talking for like two hours. Uh, nope. <laughs> so now I'm back and I wanna film a haul video because a package I've been waiting on was delivered today. Initially I was wearing different clothes, just like frumpy clothes. And then I was like, oh, but what if that package is delivered today? Then I'm gonna wanna film that haul. So I checked the tracking. It's like out for delivery, rip my clothes off, put on nicer clothes. So I'm gonna film that. But first I wanna get a little bit of something for supper. I just, I didn't end the vlog yesterday. I kind of just left you hanging. So I just wanted to kind of finish it off and mention what I did today. But today's one of those days where it's not really good for vlogging. So I was gone for a chunk of the day and now I'm just gonna be filming a video. So, and editing it. So I'll see you guys in my next video. <laughs>